Hi guys, it's Megan and I'm back with part two of the Live 2D uh, tutorial series. So I've got Live 2D open here, just gone to file, PSD import, and we're just gonna grab the file that we just created in Photoshop. So mine was the ragdoll, open that up. You'll be presented with a screen that looks like this. Um, all the parts are there, so press OK. And it does take a little while, um, but basically Live 2D will be taking our Photoshop file and just laying out all the layers for us. So it will look exactly how we left it in Photoshop, as you can see. Um, so if I hover over the different sections, you'll be able to see the mesh that Live 2D automatically creates for each part. You can go ahead and edit these, but I find that I never really need to. So if we go over to this section, parts, uh, these are all the default folders that come when you open a new project. Um, so we need to edit these. So go to part settings. And then here we can see all of the different folders and edit them. So I don't need things like the rough, um, anything to do with hair, the background or quick guide sketch image, whatever it's called. Um, so we can just go ahead and delete those. But obviously a cat has things that humans don't, so we'll need to add new parts. So things like whiskers, tails, back legs, anything like that. Um, anything that your image has that's not already a folder, you need to create a folder for that. So like things like wings, um, if you've got a tail, accessories, just, I don't know, anything. Um, we can also change the hierarchy that they're displayed in, don't have to do that obviously, but I just like to keep everything organised. Um, I also like to uh, keep the naming the same that Live2D has, so they like to have the capital letters, parts, underscore, zero, one, underscore, your part, blah blah blah. But I'm just going to speed this up because it does take quite a while sometimes. So great, once we've got all that, if we open the PSD folder and click on drawable objects, we'll be able to see the list of all of our parts here. And basically what we want to do is drag and drop them into their specific folder. So if I get all of the whisker parts, I can then drag and drop them into the whisker folder. So you just need to do this with all of the other parts. Um, so again, I'm going to speed it up a bit. Great, so once we're done with that, we can then move on to our parameters. So there's lots of parameters that come default. So again, we want to change this. So if we go to set parameters, here we can see them all and edit them again. So uh, some weird default ones that come when you open Live GD are things like left eye smile, right eye smile. I just don't need those, so I'll be deleting them. I also don't need any of the brow things because this cat doesn't have any eyebrows. So we can go ahead and delete those and then start making some new parameters. So obviously I'll be needing to make a new parameter to handle how the tail moves for instance. I'm just going to go new value and call it something like tail wiggle. Um, I'm also going to do another one for the eye dilation, but obviously you don't need to do that. So once we've done that, we're going to make our first deformer. I'm going to walk you through the breath deformer as it's the easiest. So just type in breath. Uh, we want it destin uh, destination part to be the body and that's all good. So press OK. We'll get this nice little box here. And basically, we want to uh, drag it so it covers all of the areas we want to be affected by the breath perimeter. So for me, that's everything upwards from the chest. 
so I'm just going to drag it so it contains all of the parts from the chest, making sure everything is contained within the red box. Great. So if we go back to our deformer list, and if we select all the parts we want to be attached to this deformer, so for me it's everything from the chest up, we then want to drag them into the breath deformer and that parents all of those parts to the breath. So if I move it, it will move all of those parts as well. Just like that. So great, that's all done. Now we can actually set the points of our parameters. So if we click on the breath perimeter, this little box will pop up. So what we'll want to do is have a point at the beginning and a point at the end. And these will set our maximum inhale and our maximum exhale positions. So at zero, we won't need to do anything because it's already at its resting point. So if we drag it up to one, we can then move it upwards as this is the inhale and the lungs will be filled, making the body rise. So as you can see, I can scrum back through and live 2D just animates it for us. So we can have a live update on what is happening. So then obviously it looks a little bit stiff at the moment. So what we want to do, or what I do, is go back into the neck. So go into the deformer and then onto the actual neck and then do the same. Click on breath at a point at the beginning and a point at the end and just change it slightly. So on at one, at the exhale, I'm gonna move the neck just a little bit. So it still moves the same way as the breath, but it moves a little differently. So it creates a bit of interest. So you can affect the perimeters of each part either as a group through the deformers or on itself directly. So basically you're just going to want to keep on moving the different parts until you're happy with how it's moving. I'm just going to do the same things on the back legs because it looks a little bit um, still again. So if we just do this. I also recorded this bit a little further on when I had already set up my other deformers but I'll be showing you that in other tutorials. But basically this is just how you set the perimeters. You can use this technique for all of the other ones. Um, I'll, I'll show you properly how to do those, or how I do those at least. Some of them can get a little bit tricky, especially the eyes. So once you're happy with the breath movement, um, we can go ahead and check it. So if we go to file export.mock file um, and make sure that open with live 2D viewer after exporting is checked, save it as whatever you want. And basically, you want to have already installed the Live 2D Viewer, which you can get through their website. Um, and then basically, the program will boot up and show you a live preview of the animations as they are at the moment. So once it opens, it takes a while to load again. have our model just here and what we'll want to do is go to the animation tab and simply check breath so just click on breath and it will automatically play the breathing for us which is really really cool so yeah that's the breathing done uh, we'll look at other perimeters in the next tutorial